Do you utilize Microsoft Teams? Well, let me show you how to integrate it with Jotform Workflows. Hey Jetformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And like I mentioned, if you utilize Microsoft Teams, you can easily and seamlessly integrate it with Jotform workflows. So let me show you how. Top left hand corner, I'm going to go ahead and jump over from my forms into my workflows. Then top left hand corner, we're going to choose to create a workflow. And from here, we're going to choose a one step approval process. And one thing I love about our workflows is you can see everything from a bird's eye view. So the first thing we need to do is we need to choose a starting point or a form. So let's go ahead and complete those settings. Now, if you want, you can choose from a form that you have available. But for me, I'm going to go ahead and create a new one up at the top. So we'll create a new form. Let's do from scratch on the classic form. And let's go ahead and edit that form. And we'll choose to add some elements. We'll do full name, email, and phone number. And we can go ahead and choose long text for this. And we can just put more info. Perfect, now let's head back over to our workflow. And we can see once they fill out that form, it's gonna to come to an approval process. So we have approve or deny, and both of these are going to be with an email. So if we click on this and we choose our settings, we can see that with the recipient, we need to change that over going to the person who filled out the form. Perfect. We can change this one as well. And we can save. And I'm going to delete the link coming from our approval side because once something is approved, I want it to go over into our Microsoft Teams. So over on the left hand side, we're going to choose integrations and we can scroll down to Microsoft Teams. Now we have some different options here. We can either send a message to a standard channel, a private channel, or we can create a meeting. So you can choose whatever's going to fit for you here. I'm going to go ahead and choose a standard channel and we can get our links back up. And we can see that it's circled in red to let us know that we are not done here. We need to finish completing the setup. So let's complete settings. And if this is your first time integrating Microsoft Teams with Jotform, you'll go ahead and complete your authentication here. But I'm going to go ahead and add action. And up at the top, we need to select a team. So for this one, I'm going to choose our HR team. And it's going to give me a list of the standard channels that are available. It looks like it's going to be the general channel. And then we get to customize that message title. So we can see new submission for form title. What we could do is we can pull from our form field. So let's say I want it to be the person's name. So that way we know who is filling out that form. We can also add form fields to the message. So let's say if they added more info to that more info section, we can pull from that right here. Perfect. And we can also add some action buttons if we want to view that submission or if we want to edit that submission, we can add those in there. And if we want to send a new message, if the submission has been edited and yes, I do. So let's go ahead and save this. And we can see that red box is now gone and we're good to go. Let's go ahead and give this a test up in the top. I'm going to choose publish and we'll open in a new tab and let's get this filled out. All right. Then we can submit. Now, since I am an approver on this workflow, I'm going to get an email from Jotform letting me know that, hey, I need to come in and either approve or deny this submission. But since I am already in Jotform, I can easily jump from the workflow builder over into my inbox. And here we can see we have John Smith, it's in progress, action is required. I can view all of their information, but let's go ahead and approve this. And since we have the integration with Microsoft Teams, it's gonna let us know that, hey, you have integration running right here, waiting for the running integrations. And one thing I love about this is I could go over to Microsoft Teams and find it there, but Jotform gives us a direct link to it. So let's go ahead and choose Microsoft. And here you can see we were taken to our general channel under the HR team and we see John Smith's information right here. We can see that he wants more information on utilizing workflows for their company. We can view the submission and we can edit the submission right here from within Microsoft Teams. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any other questions about how to integrate Job for Workflows and Microsoft Teams, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.